Hey, what's going on, everyone? Figured I'd uh, take a few minutes here. I'm going to uh, going to Billy Bob's Texas tonight to see Ned Ledoux with my lovely lady, taking her uh, taking her out. We haven't been there in a while, but before I did, I figured I'd uh, if you've been watching some of my posts or you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't follow me on Twitter, why the heck not? You'll know that I uh, set up at a local card show today. But for me, it's more about still about shopping and the people I meet. I met. Uh, or saw some people I hadn't seen since some last card. It's been a little while since the spring, at least, since I'd seen them. Uh, met some new people. Met some people from Twitter. I also met Jeff from Pat Geek here on YouTube. I have to imagine if you're following me, you're also following him. I, I just I can't imagine why why it would be any other way. He's got uh, way more followers than me and has an awesome channel. So check him out if you can. So if you may you may or may not know who Rich Klein is, he is kind of a staple stable in our hobby. But uh, this is one of his two charity shows he does a year. Uh, the table fees and the fees to get in they help send kids to summer camps, and also in that you end up with when you walk in for your dollar you get you get stuff you get a dollar's worth of stuff. It's fun. It's real good for kids. But you see that stack of cards in front of you. Now, what you can do is you can also buy, I should say, you can buy additional bags. I set up, so I don't need to pay the admission fee, but I decided to do another $10 donation and take some bags. Still haven't busted through all the bags I got, but that right there is a stack of 60 or 70 Mike Piazza cards that were in various bags, giveaway bags. These will go to my cousin, because... Uh, he is he's gotten back into the hobby and he's collecting Mike Piazza. That was his guy growing up, so it's just so awesome that that's what I ended up getting. Um, I got probably end up getting I got well more than a thousand cards out of it. Um, but something else I got to do I got to select two packs of cards from a very big box. What did I select? 1989 Donruss game plan tomorrow while I'm at the show. I'll go ahead and do those two. Um, maybe do a try a Facebook Live. I've never tried that before. Uh, do that off my phone and uh, see how that works out. Obviously, you know what we're looking for. We're looking for the Griffey Jr. rookie. So that leads in. Uh, what I want to do is just show some of my pickups from today. Um, so, again, I didn't spend a lot of time going around the tables. Didn't spend a whole lot of money. Um... But the first thing I did was there was a gentleman that had come over and we had chatted. He was setting up the table. He'd been to, was from outside of Tulsa. This was his first time setting up in the Dallas area. And he told me, you know, he was set up with pretty much just dollar boxes. So that got my interest. And I headed over there and picked up 11 cards from his dollar box. So we'll check them out. A Johnny Manziel dual jersey numbered out of 99. I'm no Johnny Manziel fan, but I am a college football fan. Looking to pick up some autographs, mostly, of college football legends, and he is that. This isn't an autograph, but it's a dual jersey for A&M and the Browns, so I figured, what the hay for a buck? Why not? Found it the, toward the very end. I found some uh, racing stuff, so Dale Blaney was one of my favorite drivers, so an autograph for a buck, sure. Robbie Gordon autograph. I have a couple of Robbie Gordon autographs, I believe, but for a buck, I'm always going to pick up another driver that has raced in the Indianapolis 500. The rest of these cards, so that one is for me. And so these three are for me. This one I may see if I can find somebody that likes it because it's numbered out of 15, but a Barkevious Mingo autograph. I think he was the number one overall pick that year, 2013, but numbered out of 15 for a buck. Yeah. If not, I'll throw it in uh, with my college football legend autographs. This was the, one of the first cards I saw, a Bruce Irvin autograph. I am a Mountaineer. We love us some Bruce Irvin. This was a great, uh, this was probably my favorite pickup of the day, to be honest. And speaking of college football legends, Jordan Lynch was kind of a big deal in college. Didn't, uh, didn't turn out to make it in the NFL, but, you know, that happens with a lot of college players, especially ones from small schools. The rest of these were all for my cousin, who will get the Piazzas. He is an Auburn grad, so these are his as well. Got him a Sammy Coates autograph, David Irons autograph, Cameron Artis Payne autograph, Trey Mason, 
And, oh wait, Jesse Palmer is for me. That is for my broadcasters collection that I had started and kind of got rid of, but I figured for a buck I was going to pick it up and start it again. Love him, hate him, whatever. I like him as a college football analyst. So that's what that's for. So as I was walking back to my table, I stopped by to say hello to Suds is his nickname. Um, but his name's Bill. He's set up for, at a car show for the first time in a couple years and was able to get these cards for two bucks a piece. What are they? 89 Donners Griffey Jr. Rookie for two bucks. Yes, please. And also four 89 Fleers. Again, two bucks. Going to take it every time. Uh, we'll just add them to the binder. Good times. And then I asked him about for my buddy Ben over at, at Our Trading Cards on uh, Twitter. And he's also a part of the About the Cards web show that shows up here on YouTube. Look them up, About the Cards. They do a weekly show. Love it. But I picked this up for him because he just acquires 87 Maguires as he can. Um... And I asked Bill what he wanted for it, and he's like, "Ah, eh, just take it. So I take it, and it's going to get a good home, although it's got some nice edges, and I've got to work on an 87 Donner set. Ooh, Ben, maybe I'll keep this. Anyway, I was about to walk away, found one more thing just for spits and giggles. Probably overpaid for this, but I'm going to keep it as it is, so it's fun. Because it's fun, the 1987, or look at that, 1984 Topps Cello Pack. 28 cards. Maybe there's a Mattingly in there. Maybe there's not. I will probably never know because it probably will not get busted until after it's out of my possession. After I am dead and buried. Oh wait, I won't be buried. I'm going to be cremated. Anyway, not that you care about that. So you can see behind you there, take a look. Uh, Beansballcardblog.com. I posted a, uh, I put a post up last night about a Panini autograph and just how pathetic it is and that this card should never have made it to the secondary market so i hope if you haven't seen it yet you'll go check that out it is the first post as of right now or you can follow me on twitter i'm sure i'll be retweeting it on twitter because i've gotten a lot of reaction to it um facebook there you see you can find me beans ball card blog on there and youtube if you're watching this from my site Please go to YouTube if you have a, if you have an ID. Please go to YouTube and subscribe to my page. Even if you don't, please give me a like. It really helps out. Love to get some more. Would love to get some more subscribers. I, I'm really trying to put some fun stuff up, do some different things. Um, maybe you don't agree, but I'm trying to and would love to be able to get some more subscribers. Anyway, that's it from day one of the show. Day two is tomorrow. Um, it is at the Adat Havarim Synagogue in Plano, Texas. We will be there. The show is open from 11 till 3. It's a $1 requested donation. And you're going to get a bag of stuff. Uh, it's just fun. You're not, you're not going to get rich off of it, but it's just fun. And if you're seeing this and you didn't know about the show, hopefully I'll see you out there. I am in the corner... If, as you go into the show, if you turn to your left, I am in the corner over there, and just ask for me, since I guess you don't know what I look like. Anyway, hope everyone has a great day, had a great Sunday. I am going to enjoy this show tonight, try and get a little bit of sleep, and I will be back at the show tomorrow. Hope your weekend is going as wonderful as mine is. Happy collecting, y'all. Have a great one.